morning, everyone. Um, let's make a coffee real quick and then we'll chat. All right, guys, what is up? How are we doing? How are we feeling? I am starting my morning with my coffee. I'm feeling pretty good today. You know, last week was a little, you know, I had a little spice of depression, a little, um, sauce of no i'm just kidding it's just i was pretty depressed last week but i'm back i'm feeling so much better today is just kind of a catch-up day like some stuff around the house to take care of i have some different stuff to show you i got the well i bought the deeper shades and glossier ultra lips so i'm gonna try those on i thought i would do an attempt at like a daily vlog i've never really done that before i've like kind of tried to vlog but like not really opened up or like committed fully to it and you know what today is a new day how are you doing i hope you're doing good this morning i don't know if this is angle is going to do anything so i'll have to come back and fix it if it's not a good angle um i don't know i don't know how people do these things because the screen on my freaking camera is so small i cannot believe you guys i cannot believe how great yoga is like why i don't know people i feel like people who do yoga are always like mm, it's so soothing it's so zen like you have to try it like i've always wanted to be that bitch like you know don't like count me out the couple of times i had tried it i was like oh it's okay it's a little boring and finally a couple weeks ago i committed to doing more yoga and i'm addicted now. I have a lot of body image issues <laughs> that I have been working on for years and years and when it comes to yoga the focus for me is just on breathing and kind of improving flexibility and strength. It's just a great way to kind of connect your mind body balance everything get a good stretch and it's really really improved my mornings. Okay, I just finished my yoga workout. As you can tell, my mood so much better. I feel so good. I feel ready for the day. Um, I will link the video that I just did below. It's one of my favorites that I found in the last few weeks. Um, with yoga, it turns out there's all different types of yoga and there's yoga that just focuses on breath. There's yoga that focuses more on strength. And I feel like the video that I did this morning was a really good like beginner blend of things that really kind of like wakes up the whole body. Oh my god, this light is so fucking bright. Oh my god. Uh, I hope this clip turns out okay. I just like wanted my skin to be able to be seen on my vlog camera, but we it looks like the literal fucking sun is in my apartment right now. But I wanted to show you guys um, this face mask situation I've been doing. It is literally the shit, okay? So it's like a two-parter. Apparently, I just really like Australian skin companies because this is another one I've been loving. It's called Sand and Sky and I had seen their um, advertisements on Instagram. This is the Australian pink clay. This is like a set that comes together and basically it just makes your pores look way better, way smaller. It makes the skin look way brighter. I'll show you like right now a before and after. I just um, switched my other camera so we can get a little bit of a better shot of my before. You can see my pores a little bit. My skin is looking decent. I've got a little bit of redness from where I just washed my face and removed the mask. Um, but so first I'm going in with the, this is the pink clay exfoliating treatment. So this is what gets all the dead skin off. Um, and basically you wanna do this on cleansed moist skin probably should have left more water on my face but that's okay and because my skin is so sensitive i like to just kind of put it on don't rub too much if you have less sensitive skin you can rub more because there are physical exfoliants in here too um but i like to just let the ahas work um because my skin is so sensitive i just don't need to go super hardcore um so anyway i'm just spreading this out i leave it on for about five minutes and then I'll rinse it off. Okay, so this is directly after rinsing the, oh my gosh, I've got clay mask all over my hand. This is directly after rinsing the AHA, the exfoliating stuff off. And I mean, in person, my skin looks so much smoother and brighter. I don't know how it's gonna show on camera, but there's that. Then I go in with the Australian pink clay that comes with this really cute little freaking brush. 
and um, I like to just really focus this on my pores so like right here I go over my nose because my nose is like permanently clogged I don't know what is wrong with my nose but yeah I just put the clay on I like to leave this on for like at least 10 minutes look at how much better it looks like seriously I just love this combination so much it's perfect and thanks so much to Sand and Sky for the sponsorship I'll leave my link below if you guys want to check them out can't recommend them enough it looks so good and um, I'm gonna go put on my makeup and I'll be right back Okay, <laughs> I have a whole bunch of laundry that I need to fold and put away. This is the situation. Um, in New York, it is a huge pain in the ass to do laundry. So um, my boyfriend and I always take forever to get around to actually doing it. So I have just a ton of laundry. This is gonna be my next little bit and then um, I'll probably play some Animal Crossing, you know? And um, yeah, see what happens next. Oh, hi, buddy. Are you gonna say hi to everyone? Come here. Yes. Show up your tail. This is one of my sons, Sebastian. Um, he likes to help me fold laundry. Hi, buddy. And here we have the lunch of absolute vegan champions. It's, it's just vegan chicken nuggets. They're really good though. These are the um, 365 Whole Foods brand. So this is the full toddler meal, but it's so good. Um, and I like to just mix some Tabasco with some ketchup. It's so good. Okay, so here is the situation. I thrifted these two dresses and I took them to the tailor. I found someone in Brooklyn who, he's really, really good. It was absolutely terrifying though. Um, I showed up to get these dresses taken in and he like guides you down to this basement and it's in the dark and there's no one else around and you have to get changed and it was really scary but i promise it's totally fine it has really good reviews and i survived and he did a really good job so um i just wanted to try these on really quick and make sure that they fit properly and i thought i would show you because why not okay so first we have this little dress um this is from chess and the sphinx and I got this taken way, way in. It was originally way too big for me, and I, that's why this tailor was so amazing. He um, took it in, and he also like shortened it quite a bit. And it's still a little bit oversized, but I wanted to keep a little bit of its original shape. It is like a very boxy dress, but I just thought like this pattern is so cute and unique. It kind of reminds me of like a bowling shirt, and it's got this very like little schoolgirl like skirt, very cute. I don't know. <laughs> I don't I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet, but I just I had to pick it up because it's really unique. Okay, next we have this. I don't know if you can see it. It's like a long, it's like kind of to the ankle checkerboard print dress and um here can you see the pattern? It's kind of hard to see I think camera um but yeah this dress is um so cute so easy it's also vintage i believe it's probably from like the 90s to early 2000s ish because it is um i think it's from the gap actually but it was also a little bit too big so i had him just take it in just the slightest bit and it still just got this like super relaxed cute fit um, but just slightly better. So I wish I would have taken clips of these things before I got them done so you could have seen like the transformation. But yeah, um, that's some stuff I picked up. I also wanted to try on with you guys these three Glossier Ultra Lip Shades. These are the deeper ones that, um, I had not purchased when I made the video, so I just want to try these on and see how I like them. I'm going to start with the shade Vesper. Um, I think this is like a deep purple, but a lot of you guys were recommending this one, so I'm just going to try it. This is Vesper on me. 
I don't think this is my favorite on me, you guys. This looks good on so many people, but this isn't my favorite on me. No, no, no. It just looks a little like old for some reason. I don't know if it's hitting on me. Okay, whatever. Let's move on to the next one. Next we have Caché. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but this is the second to darkest brown shade. I'm very excited about this one. I believe. Here, let me just let me stop talking for a second. This is cute. If I would have applied it a little bit uh, less messy, super cute. Very 90s, but very cute. Um, I like that. It's like a wearable brown lip. Next is the shade Ember. I actually really like Ember too. I'm weirdly not loving Vesper on myself. It looks good on so many people though, so don't let that count you out. I just kind of preferred these browns, I guess. Really cute though. Again, kind of more wearable than I even expected, you know what I mean? Like it's deep, but it's somehow wearable. So I did some more cleaning. Figured you guys didn't want to see that. Um, I have a couple PR boxes that I just got that I thought that we could haul because I need to put this stuff away. First, we have one from Laura Mercier. And um, they have really lovely PR packages. Like somebody hand writes these notes. I It's really, really nice of them. Um, ooh, it's a bunch of their new caviar shadow eye sticks. This is what the packaging looks like. Well, you now, Laura Mercier really has some pretty stuff. Let's swatch one of these. I think these are gonna be, yeah, like kind of metallic. Like that's really pretty for just a quick throw on the lid shade. That was the shade Wild Rose, by the way. So if you like kind of like rose goldy, just like easy shimmery sticks, I love their caviar eye sticks. We have this really big box from Clover, or it's called Clove Plus Hollow. This is a brand new brand, I think, and they're supposed to be a vegan, cruelty-free, and sustainable brand. There's a serum foundation. This is what the packaging looks like. It's super cute. I believe um, these are all supposed to be pretty affordable as well. So I'm really excited to try them. I don't know if you guys would want to see a full face. I don't know if people are interested in this brand or not, um, but definitely let me know. Really cute, huh? It kind of reminds me of um, Flesh Beauty. Oh my god, I just heard the weirdest noise. It sounded like a lamb. That wasn't our cat, was it? No. No, okay. I don't know. So anyway, I was just talking to my partner about something that I saw recently, and it was just a person. I'm not going to give any indication of anything about anything about this person because it doesn't matter. But there was a person who is very beautiful both online and offline, but I recently saw them in a live setting the other day and um, I just had to have one of those moments <laughs> where I checked myself with unrealistic beauty standards because I think when you sit alone a lot and look at social media and see these images, even if you know, which I am fully aware of it because I use Facetune, like I use editing apps, like even when you're fully aware to the extent that these things are used, <laughs> Your brain, at least my brain, tricks me into thinking that these people all look exactly like the images that you see online. I think it's just this natural brain thing that happens. You look at the image and see it as real even though it is not. Um, but I saw this person in a live setting and they were still beautiful, but guess what? They were a human being and um, I just had one of those moments where I I don't know. I, I was I was just very taken aback and I hope this doesn't sound bad, but I really it made me feel better about myself instantly because I had been in a really negative place with my self-image that day. And this person, you know, seeing them and seeing, oh, they look like a real human being. Like, they're so pretty, but, you know, they don't look like a airbrush robot. Yeah, so if you guys are feeling bad about yourself today, just please remind yourself. Like, look at some celebrity, like, before and afters. Look at some celebrity, like, up-close shots and just remind yourself that it's all fake. It's all fake. And there's so many things that affect the way a final product turns out. And, um, yeah. I don't know. That's just what I've been thinking about. 
All right, guys, I think I'm going to end the vlog here while the beautiful sun is setting and enjoy the rest of my night. Um, was this interesting? Was this worth posting? I I don't know. I watch vlogs, but um, um, I hope you guys have a great night. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you would like to, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.